Yeah, Tim, we'll start with the Elite Division Championships today. Hoop Fest crowd favorites Lee and Hayes played in the title game for the six feet and over men's Elite Division crown. Former Gonzaga walk-on Mike Hart and former Eastern Washington alums Parker Kelly and Mark Axton led the squad in search for a three-peat. The champs 2017-2018 took on Bobby and the boys. Lee and Hayes fell down 3-0 early, but they just came storming back, scoring 10 straight points. After that clamp down on defense, you can see that Mike Hart block Mark Axton started lighting it up. He had it going from everywhere. Look at this. Oh, he's going to step back and in your face. That's going down. Kelly also played a part with his offense and Lee and Hayes reclaimed their title with a win. It feels amazing just to be able to get a win and finish it strong. You know, it's a long day on Sunday and be able to come through and um, just play well down the stretch helps. To do it with this group of guys that I just love hanging out with and love playing with, it's, it feels pretty good to have a, a whole weekend with them where uh, we come out on top. It was a, it was a lot of hard work. Uh, just feel really blessed to be able to have one or three times uh, and to be able to play with Mike and Rob and, and Axe. We just enjoy playing with each other and it's a good chemistry, so it feels, it feels great. Men's six feet and under elite title game. Canada taking on all of the lights. Canada turning up early, really pounding it inside. Jeff Price led the team to an early 7-3 lead. All of the lights found a rhythm from outside, though Warren Edmonton hits this three-pointer. They find themselves down 10-9 to at one point, but Price started scoring again in the paint. And then this one from the outside for the six feet and under title. Bang! Canada won, and Price was psyched he hit that game winner. Oh, it was just dynamite, man. Like, I'm just on a whole nother level. Like, I've been down here for like 11, 12 years, and it's just I've never made it to a final, let alone win this. And so we got it. Elite Women's Championship, YYC Canada with Zags alum Janelle Beckering faced off against all res with former WNBA player Shoni Schimmel. This game started off weird as a few points were actually played with a men's ball instead of a women's ball, but it got sorted out and Schimmel was all sauce. All res would win the game, but came through the consolation bracket and YYC Canada hadn't lost yet. So one more game for the title since the tournament is double elimination. Beckering was hustling and keeping her team in it, but Schimmel was just way too much. She had big plays on defense like that block and scored in about every single way to close out the game. All Res wins the title by winning out after losing their first game of the tournament. A lot of us don't like losing and for us we took it personal just because you know we shouldn't have lost that game. It was like 18 to 20 and it was a 9.30 a.m. game so for us you know we learned our lesson and sometimes you gotta learn how to lose before you can learn how to win. Now on to the slam dunk competition. Shadow Park's Jacoby Ford absolutely brought the house down with this dunk. Really, there was no competition after this. Jacoby told us he had never even attempted that dunk before today. He just seen it on YouTube. So here's the hometown hero on winning the contest. It feels good because I've been in it like the last three years, but didn't really make it to the second day. I just made it for the, like, I didn't even make it to the second day. So it feels good to win it finally. A Toyota RAV4 was on the line at the Toyota shootout. Half court shots for the car. David from California showing it how it is done. But Josiah from Spokane had a response. It would come down to a three point shootout for the car. David sinks this three and Josiah wouldn't answer this time. So David from California wins the Toyota shootout and the RAV4.